Today, I found a bit of damage on the citrus, and it's the good old citrus gall wasp. A lot of work's been done in recent years trying to work out how to control this pest. Unfortunately, there are really no options as far as chemicals go. So the only option left to the home gardener for this one is to prune it out. What we'll quickly do is just expose it so you can see it in a bit more detail. So there's two rather large galls there, and the, the interesting point to note here is that there are no holes in the galls which means we've found it at the right time. It means that the little wasps have not emerged. They're still in there in the gall as a larvae. And these galls form, are formed by the citrus to try and protect itself from the gall wasp. So not only is this an unsightly pest, it's a pest that also causes the, the, the branches to droop and eventually they'll snap when laden with fruit or in strong winds. So I've just pruned this off and I don't know if you can see it, but there are little green holes in the middle and that's where the larvae will be. So we've pruned all the galls out and now the important thing is good hygiene. You could try chipping them up so they're really tiny pieces. The other way you could do it, um, it's probably most easily done, is actually putting them into your landfill bin and having them removed and going to landfill. Uh, probably not the best idea to put them into green waste. They may go in a mulch pile and emerge and become somebody else's problem. Biosecurity, as you know, is a shared responsibility and it's everybody should be involved. So if you do the right thing in your garden and prune this out and your neighbours do the right thing, then you can reduce the, the load over your neighbourhood and everybody will be happy and have nice, healthy citrus. Mm -hmm.